All right, a uh, quick overview and extension on how uh, image and raster work together. Uh, and some of your default things. Uh, image is specifically so that it has a pass through. So rather than have a raster step here, you only have the raster step inside the image itself. So that when you set the image size, it reflects it up back to the uh, operation. And so you get a green light from the beginning and so it doesn't resize or resample it adding a bunch of pixels. Now if for example you wanted to actually do that where you wanted uh, you wanted them combined properly here's an example of one. Let's say I wanted this dark circle to cover up this image here. Now if I simply ran this it would actualize the image and make the image and then start it up. Now you can tell by the preview over here that it's just going to the edge here. And all right, and then a couple minutes later in the same picture. Now you can tell here that the uh, the raster going back and forth isn't jumping out for the extra circle. That's because what it's doing is it's going to run this image as its own operation and then this image. So in here where it had uh, actualize, that was for this image uh, to make it uh, proper. And then for make image, that makes this uh, vector item into an image. So it's not going to go over for the circle as a single operation because this image is made individually and then this one is made in its own uh, item. What you and if you added in a second image here it would classify this one so it would run this object and then run this object and then run this object. And what you want in this example is to have it run as a single image. So, uh, let's go here, let's stop this, close it down, okay, um, file new, alright, uh, let's go ahead and go to basic classification, okay, so, what you want here, let me change this color so it doesn't classify, anything with a black stroke will automatically classify correctly there so let's go ahead and refresh classification now this uh, black object doesn't classify with this one so what we want to do is just move this object over here now it all classifies as a single raster and the only thing that matters is it matters that this uh, item has a uh, has its raster step and this other item has its raster step but now when we say up the raster step it's not going to uh, it's not going to resize any of this image it's just going to jump by three so it will scale it down by a factor of three now it does a raster thing on a single image and then executes that so it starts up on the image and jumping forward in time Alright, uh, same thing but a little while later. Now when we look here, this is jumping over and is rastering this entire circle. So it's going to keep going out and raster the circle because it's combined into the same image. What the make image here does is it combines all the raster objects, but any image object also gets rastered. So it uh, will turn this into an image of the appropriate size to be rastered uh, with the given step and it will combine it with any object. So if you have two overlapping images, the two overlapping images will raster as a single image if you combine them into a single raster image. If you combine them into a same image operation, they would run one then the other. So you'd get the completed under image and then the image that overlaps with it well, uh, just do its own thing again. So you'll get two, uh, you'll get the under picture and the over picture, and it won't uh, mask off the first picture. So you can tell here, 
with this object that it's jumping out and then does a extra overscan. So that's the main thing. If you want to make sure that your images raster together, you just put them in the same image. You can drag and drop most of these items uh, again. And so uh, you do this. Also, interestingly enough, you can put this in cut. And then when it finishes uh, with this, it will do a cut operation, which will actually just cut out the image. All right. Uh, that should cover my bases there. Uh, thanks for watching.